And now we are joined on the phone. And Baoshen. Only small vehicles can get through. Authorities say they plan to make those roads one way in order to get more supplies into the area. Daijian, Shanghai Live. And now we are joined on the phone by our reporter Xu Fangliang, who is in Baoxing County, one of the hardest hit areas. Hi, Fangliang. Um, yesterday, Zhang Qin told us there was a traffic restriction along the road from Lushan to Baoxing. You made the trip to Baoxing today. Can you tell us about the traffic along the way? Yes, this morning I was in Lushan County, and it's about 30 kilometers away from Baoxing to Lushan. And we decided to take uh, the vehicle with the road repair workers to all the way to Baoxing County. And, uh, but on the road, it's, it was really, really dangerous. Around four to five kilometers, we saw at least four or five uh, landslide and claps. And actually, our car can feel a lot of stones were flying toward us. And um, uh, we also saw a lot of damaged cars. It was really risky. And um, the road repair crew, they told me they've sent uh, 1,000 workers to the disaster area, but one of them already killed by the collapse and the, the landslide. The workers say they will stay there till the end of um, till till the end of the October, till there is no rain at all for the Sichuan province. Otherwise, there will be more landslide in that area. That's the transportation situation for that place. And I was wondering in the past few days why they're blocking the way all the time. But this today, I finally noticed how dangerous it is because the the only road from um, Lushan to Baoxing is called S two. 1 0, and uh, the road is really narrow, and uh, it's only one way highway. So, if any vehicle can be allowed into that place, which means there can be traffic jam all the time, uh, and there is rain, and, and it's raining all the time, and uh, the landslide will happen at any time. If there is a traffic jam, then which means people will stuck there forever. It's really, really risky, and that's the answer. Um, all right. Yesterday, the traffic problems were making it very tough to get relief goods into Baoxing. So that the, that the road a bit more open, are there enough supplies making it to the county? Uh, today, I actually, I went to the, the center of um, Baoxing, and it, the situation was not that good. Uh, a lot of people, yes, some people, they did get in tents, at least three or four hundred people, they get tents. And they are gathered together in the in the sports stadium right now. But most people they have to uh, stay on the stands of the stadium because they don't have chance. And uh, the rest of people they have to sleep along the street. They have to make their self-made tents. And uh, most of them they told me they're really cold during the night. Um, so firstly, tents is their first problem. They have to get more tents from from company or government. And the second problem is they don't have enough food. They say uh, in the past two days, they didn't get food at all from outside. So they have to, they had to go back to their uh, buildings to get food, although they were so unwilling to do that. And uh, this is third day after the earthquake, and uh, they, they're now started starting to get more food from outside. Yeah, back to you. Okay, thank you, and uh, really take care of yourself. That was our reporter Xu Fangliang live from Baoxing County.